I'm good. <laughs> right, the cubic polynomial is defined by AX, uh, x cubed plus ax squared plus a minus ax minus 14. I'm getting it all wrong now. Where is it constant? Given that x it's minus constant. 2 is a factor of f of x, find the value of a. So the, the big clue here, you know, we, we can get lured into thinking, yikes, it's all about long division, we're going to do really difficult stuff, but, but actually we shouldn't do long division at this point, it's much easier than that. We're told that x minus 2 is a factor. And from that bit of information there, we read that as saying f of 2 is equal to 0. That's all that we need to do. We just need to read that and decide that means f of 2 is 0. So we're going to sub 2 into our equation. f of 2 is 2 cubed plus a times 2 squared minus a times 2 minus 14. So that equals 0. This looks like we've now just got a, an equation in terms of a, and it's a linear equation of that. We've got 8 plus 4a minus 2a minus 14. So what have we got there? Um, 2a and 8, take away the 14, which is going to be minus 6. 2a is 6, so a is 3. And it feels like an easy 3 marks, but the key was all about knowing that that was what the question was telling us at the start. Um, even then, we still, we're not going to get drawn into doing long division, because long division is a difficult way to solve these things. Using this value of a, find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 1. Well, the remainder, when it's divided by x plus 1, is... whatever f of minus 1 is equal to. So the question really is just saying, find f of minus 1. f of minus 1 is minus 1 cubed plus a times minus 1 squared, so 3 times minus 1 squared, minus a, so minus 3, times minus 1, minus 14. Um, you, you remember, we're now on calculator stuff, so if you want to, you could just carefully type that into your FX83 GT plus or equivalent, and get minus 1 plus 3 plus another 3. Minus 14, which is... Uh, minus 9. I believe. That's it. Dave, could you have done long division for it? You could do long division for it, but that's a long way... A long... Yeah, I'm a stuff to do I'm just to I'm get minus from minus 9. One, one last thing before having turned it off is that if... Uh, this question here said, find the remainder when it's divided by x plus 1. But they could have written something into this question that would have forced you to do long division. What could they have written in there that would have forced you to do long division? Somebody just said it, I think. If they said, find the quotient and the remainder, you have to do long division, you've got no choice. How do you do long division though when you're not giving your values in your space? Yeah. How do you divide it? Alright, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. It's a little bit of a tell you what well, A was found A. A was three. So it was just it would have just been a standard long division, wouldn't it? Alright, thanks Harry.